We've already read from the title in today's video we're going to talk about different ways of blending colors in Procreate app so without further ado let's get started. So first I'll show the time lapse of me creating this doodle which I'll be using to blend in colors. So this is going to be the illustration I'll be using to add colors and blend in the hair basically. So I'll I'll show you four to five different ways of blending colors first of all we're going to talk about first way where we use the different kind of brushes there are two major type of brushes used for blending one which is pressure sensitive to opacity so basically if you change the pressure you are applying the opacity changes which means when you're blending two colors when you top on you're drawing on top of the other color you decrease the opacity or the pressure and they kind of blend in super well so the round brush or the soft brush are kind of the opacity brushes but in this one which i'm showing you right now it is a bit more transparent which means that when i am blending two colors uh, you can see that it's kind of not very smooth because you can see through the area where, where it's blending so you would rather prefer a brush that's not that transparent now other type of brush is that pulls out color it's kind of pulling the color and blends color in a way like you can see it also taking up the white from the background so you lift and then tap lift and lift then tap which creates the darker version of the color and now you can see i'm changing the color and this way you can blend with this brush now that you know about the different brushes let's start with the first method i am going to fill the color in alpha lock the layer and now i'm going to select this round brush and i'm going to slowly softly move upwards while increasing decreasing the pressure so i start with a lot of pressure but while i'm transitioning to the pink color i'll decrease the pressure a bit so you can see it creates a soft transition blending both the colors beautifully so this is one way don't forget to alpha lock the layer i'll show you later in this video why i'm saying that but you can see it's so easy to just blend this so different color so it's basically a total different hue and you can see it blends so well you can also you know mix two to three colors colors or as many colors as you want but using the methods i'm showing you to the next method i'm going to add color normally and then using the smudge tool i'm going to go around the area where the two colors are meeting in the same direction and this way you you can also pull the colors from like if you pull start from pink the pink color would start mixing in green and so on i have picked a textured brush i'll show you with the soft brush also in the next part so using a texture brush brush you can add texture to the blend For the next method again we are using a smudge tool make sure you don't go in opposite directions straight away start with the area where it's already mixed like the colors meet and then move in the same direction you can also then pull colors but only where they are blended also this is a softer brush which isn't actually giving texture so the transition is way more smoother so you can see this is the kind of effect you achieve when you're using a smoother brush instead of texture one with the smudge tool only while using the smudge tool the opacity slider basically becomes the intensity with which the smudge tool will smudge the two colors for the next method i'm going to again add the color go to gaussian blur and you see this is the easiest way to create the smooth blends make sure that the colors are on the same layer and you can also select the pencil tool but this was a bit tricky so you can just go around the area you want to blend and then change the intensity of the gaussian blur while using the gaussian blur or smudge tool make sure that the colors are on the same layer because otherwise it won't actually smudge both the colors they have to be on the same layer even for gaussian blur and you can see with the pencil tool also it created that way the next method i am going to use um, a brush and add the color where both the colors are mixing i'm going to pick that color that's made by mixing them and then that add that color over there you see basically you're picking color more like traditional painting method so it adds more painterly vibe but you can use a textured brush to create even more traditional art painterly vibe 
and for the next method and this is not a blending method but a color mixing method so you must have seen in viral videos basically put both the colors using the smudge tool create a smudged color now pick that color so you can also like play around with the intensity you pick the color and now this is the new color made by mixing the color it's not actually blending but mixing the colors together you can also make another version where you want more of green so i'll pick the green I'll color the like put the green color then I'll do the pink color and using the smudge tool this time adding more of green so you start pulling from green side and when you create this much kind of a thing you pick that color and you see this kind of a mix is created both of these are very muddy colors this means that this much tool actually creates some muddy blend so you have to be make sure about that and now you can already see i added that in there also to just show you the difference now that all methods are done let's see them together so you can see i have created this spreadsheet for you so this one was with the soft brush this was with the smudge tool and i've written basically everything you can see i'll add it the link in the description for your reference you can see the sheet and you can basically see the different effects and i hope you enjoyed watching this video if it was helpful don't forget to like it and subscribe for more such helpful videos and if you want to learn more about digital art and creating stylized illustrations in procreate don't forget to join the waitlist for the program the link is in the description thanks a lot for watching